Shoppers have been bombarded this year with ad campaigns by food companies touting that their products are GMO-free. Some of these products never contained any GMO ingredients in the true sense of the word. Companies like Dan and Yogurt have used this food fad as a propaganda tool to sell their products. And some farmers are saying enough is enough. The American Farm Bureau Federation and other ag groups say eliminating GMO ingredients in our food supply would force farmers to abandon safe, sustainable farming practices that have enhanced farm productivity for over the last 20 years. These improvements have also reduced the carbon footprint of American agriculture. The corn itself, if you laid the two side by side, you would not be able to tell the difference between a a corn that is grown organically or a corn that is grown using GMO technology. On the GMO side, we're able to protect against insects. We're, in, we're able to help with drought conditions. And we get to use a whole lot less chemicals and pesticides than what we typically would if we grown a conventional corn. Phillips has decided to fight the latest food fad with science and information. He uses social media to explain his farming methods, and he offers farm tours to show visitors his safe practices, like GMO technology. Come to the source. Come to the farmers. We know what we're doing, and social media is a great tool for us to do that. When I look over our analytics on our Facebook page, uh, we typically reach about 3,500 people. Some GMO plants don't need as much water as other crops. Since parts of southwest Virginia were in a severe drought in 2016, drought-resistant GMO seeds have literally saved the farm. A couple years ago, we had plenty of rain in May, and then we didn't see rain again until the 4th of July, and then we didn't see rain again until after the corn harvest, and we still made a good crop. And that is all due to the technology that's in the seeds today. During the last 20 years, advancements in agricultural technology have allowed farmers to use less pesticides and herbicides, fossil fuels and water. And tons of soil has stayed in the field instead of washing away. Farmers say taking away GMO technology would be similar to turning back the clock and using outdated 20th century technology to run a business. We are a, a strictly no-till farm. Uh, and, and GMO technology plays a big role in that for us as well. Uh, we have extreme slopes here in southwest Virginia, so tilling a field is not really practical because uh, rain or wind could really wash away or erode our soils. Hundreds of studies over the last 20 years have proven the safety of GMO foods and the environmental effects of growing GMO crops. Most recently, 109 Nobel laureates announced their support for GMO technology, citing a study from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. Quote, the study committee found no substantiated evidence on a difference in risk in human health between current commercially available genetically engineered crops and conventionally bred crops. The scientific evidence is clearly stated on the website fooddialogues.com. And Phillips says, if you want to hear from a farmer yourself, come talk to him.